Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kegernot, but just call me Keg. And with 7.2, I thought that I would do a small little update video on all of the tanks, any little changes that might have happened. Uh, I didn't go over this yet, and I honestly don't think that this is uh, worthy enough to make an entire guide about, but I'll go ahead and uh, talk about these in this video. So uh, there's a very small change for Adventure Steam Hunter. It's quite significant, but uh, it's the only thing that they changed with 7.2. So in Vengeance Steam and Hunter, Demonic Wards, which was that passive that basically made you more tanky than a Havoc, um, Demonic Wards now reduces all damage taken by 20%. This used to be 10%. And now it increases armor by only 75% instead of 120. So we did get a small little nerf to our physical damage reduction, you know, passively our physical damage reduction, but we did get an increase overall uh, by 10% to all damage. So that means magic, which is very, very good, uh, and physical, that includes as well. Uh, this is great because especially during the beginning of Nighthold, especially for Croesus and Star Augur, there was a lot of demon hunters, uh, including myself, who had a lot of trouble on those bosses because of how much magic damage there was. There even is still some demon hunters who can't seem to handle that, um, but that's probably just because they're a little lower geared. But aside from that, uh, it's a nice welcome change. They're trying to boost our passive damage mitigation a lot more uh, than trying to fit it into these really big power windows such as Demon Spikes or Pain, pain Bringer Prox, or that's like a, a tongue twister, Pain Bringer Prox. That was hard to say. Uh, and then we've also got the Metamorphosis, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's a nice little welcome change. Now, most of the tuning in 7.2 has been mostly around the artifact power uh, and the artifact uh, tree, the new traits, uh, the new ranks, and all of the old traits. That's mostly where most of this tuning has come in from. I would expect to see maybe some more class tuning in 7.2.5. But uh, that's not going to be till way later, so don't worry about that. But right now in 7.2, that's all the changes. If you want to know about my recommended Vengeance Demon Hunter artifact uh, pathing, that is uh, what traits you should put in uh, with your new artifact power, go ahead and click the link in the description. It's down there. You guys go ahead and watch that. Uh, same for the Guardian Druid and the Brewmaster Monk. All those links are going to be in the description down below. But let's go ahead and head over to the Guardian Druid uh, changes. So um, we have a couple changes here, which I definitely like. So Intimidating Roar now roots targets in place this used to be only a 50% snare. So instead of having it uh, interrupt the things that you needed or have them uh, stun for a half second or whatever, and have them kind of like just walk everywhere, everywhere, like all the ads in the trash, it just makes it real hard to kind of group them properly. Now it just roots them in place. It, it still interrupts those things that you want, However, now they will stay put so you don't have to worry about uh, repositioning things. So that's a really welcome change. Uh, mangle damage and thrash damage has been increased by 15%. Uh, the thrash damage is increased only while in bear form. And the thrash damage is only increased on the direct damage, not the bleed effect that happens afterwards. So both of those uh, spells have been increased by 15%. That's a very welcome change. Guardian Druids have been slacking a little bit on the damage overall. Uh, but swipe during uh, bear form has been reduced by 25%. So not a entirely... A uh, big change for the damage, um, but in some instances uh, it could be pretty useful. So the developers notes for the reasons why they did these changes. They say this should result in overall guardian damage remaining roughly the same or perhaps slightly higher. So yes, this can be slightly higher if you have thrash relics, if you have um, if you're going to be using incarnation and use and just spam thrash during that window. This can provide more damage for you because you won't be swiping during incarnation. But overall, this should on average keep everything roughly the same for your DPS. Um, but And they say it will front load their damage more, which means more help with burst threat. So that means help on the pull. If you're pulling first as a Guardian Druid versus a Blood Decay or whoever else, this should help a little bit more with establishing aggro on both a boss or any new target, really. Uh, you just you thrash right away and then you mangle right away. That should get all the threat that you need. Also, during skittish weeks, this should be a lot easier to work with because you're going to be doing more damage on your big bad attacks versus the uh, the very small, you know, swipes that are just kind of come out uh, during your filler phases. So, yeah, thrash and mangle damage, that's very, very welcome. Also, intimidating roar, that's a nice little quality of life change. Uh, for brewmasters, actually, there is no changes so far, only the new traits. Um, that everybody else got, uh, but only the new traits really. There's no actual passive uh, class tuning balances or whatever in 7.2, so that's quite cool. Uh, they think that we are good enough in a spot. I, I believe that we are also in a great spot right now. Um, 
So yeah, that's really all the changes today. If you guys want to watch any of the my recommended artifact path progression uh, videos, then they are in the links down below. You can go ahead and watch those. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And follow on Twitch, twitch.tv slash kegernaut for any future live streams. I'd be highly appreciative. So thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video, or I'll see you live on stream.